What's going on, party people? Welcome back to the farewell party. Today, it's going to be a party of one once again with yours truly, Kyle. You know what? We're here with another Outlaws of Thunder Junction. It's still day one, uh, closer to the evening now, but let's just hop into it. Let's start this draft. Hope everybody's having a fun release day on Arena here. I apologize in advance for the lighting. I know we're working on it. Uh, it's just a kind of a tough time of day to to not get weird shadows and whatnot. Listen, I'm I'm new here, man. Generous plunderer, is that any good? I don't even think I've seen this card really. Beginning vapor keep. You may create a treasure token when you do. Target opponent creates a trap treasure token. Number generous plunderer attacks. Deals damage to defending player equal to number of artifacts it control. This kind of seems like a commander card, maybe? Oh, wow. Outlaw Stitcher is probably the pick. Curse Retribution is not bad. Tiny Bones joins up. I'm not into. It's probably Outlaw Stitcher, to be honest. It's just so good. When it enters the battlefield, you get a 1 4 and you get a 2 2 blue and black zombie rogue but it gets two plus one plus one counters if you cast another spell in one turn. I mean, it's just awesome. Other cards, I mean, the desert's fine. Jailbreak scheme's pretty good. Uh, Raven did some work for us last time. Uh, but overall, a decent pack. It's going to be a lost stitcher, baby. Aven Interrupter. Flash Flying. I don't know if I'm super into that. Uh, Essence Capture, not super into either. Take the Fall I am into. Uh, gets a minus one, minus O, and then minus four if you control an Outlaw, and you just get to draw a card. This will be really good for double spelling with Outlaw Stitcher. So I think that's the move here. Nothing else really stands out. Um, Lone Shark is fine. It may be a little too expensive, uh, a four mana plot is just not great unless it's like really, really good, it feels like. Essence Capture is all right. Um, not sure I want to go down the two, two blue pip route yet. Take the Fall is just so good with Outlaw Stitcher, so we're going to take that. Deep Muck Desperado. So this is a fun one. If we're going down the blue-white uh, route, we may, we may want to do like a, a mill strategy here. I mean, a, a desert's always good on color. Reckless Lackey's also really good if we're gonna if we want to do the the red blue route. Irascible Wolverine's also really good. Wow, what a good pack! Not super into that. Hmm. Do I go on color land or do I take lowest possible mana value? Do I take the Wolverine? Man, I really like the Wolverine. It did really well in the pre-release that I did. But if we're going to double spell, I think we want to go ahead and do Reckless Lackey. Maybe we'll get a Wolverine coming back later. Whoa. Botanical. Oh my gosh, another Outlaw Stitcher. Whoa. And a Thunder Salvo. Okay. And a Phantom Interference. Goodness. Hmm. I mean, it's just another Outlaw Stitcher, right? Not too high on the the lands here, the rare lands. Kind of into pretty much any desert that's on color, but I mean it's it's a second outlaw stitcher. It's so good. Hmm. Phantom interference, another take the fall, which is going to be better for us. We're one of we want a double spell so. Counter spells actually might not be like the thing that we want to be going down. So I think a second take the fall is kind of where we're going. I mean, it's just a one mana draw a card. It'll keep the engine going. So I think we keep that. Razzle Dazzler, really good. Another take the fall, that's funny. Mine Raider's not bad, but I don't think this is the archetype for it. 
a lot of people are down on mystical tether, but I actually like it. Uh, the versatility of going back and forth, uh, like being able to do it on each turn, I think is pretty good. Outlaws Fury, not really for us. I mean, I think it's just Razzle Dazzler here. So still mostly mono blue with just the the one reckless lackey here. And boy, this is uh, where you want to be if you're playing blue right now. What else is here? Three mana, one four with vigilance. Eh, it's all right. Control desert, surveil one. I actually like this one, not too bad. It's a red card, deal six damage. Five mana is probably just too expensive. Yeah, I'll take a two mana bounce spell. I don't hate that. Phantom Interference again. Discerning Peddler gets to discard and draw. But we can plot Cunning Coyote to set up massive blue-red big turns. I think Cunning Coyote is just the spot here. Pretty good. Cheap. Fast. Does a job. Makes things bigger. Makes things haste. Could do double spells pretty easily with plot. Jailbreak scheme is... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Seize the Secret's pretty good in this deck. So you can get, most of the time, two mana, draw two. Yeah, it's probably just Seize the Secret's here. I don't know. The more I look at it, I don't know if sorcery speed doing a draw two is really what we want to do, so that might get cut later. Only card here that we're really interested in is return the favor, but it's, even then it's not that great, so we'll just dump it in the sideboard here. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wolverine wield. Cool. Okay, this is a pretty cool deck that we've got working here. Uh, yeah, I'll take an I'll take an on color desert for now, or on color with one color at least. Boy, that is a really good first pack here. I just really enjoy Wolverine. You can, I mean, you can just play it for basically anything. I mean, you can. It's so versatile. You can play it to get a one or you can play it to get like a three or four drop into play, you can get it to, to find your fourth land drop. Wow. Another Razzle Dazzler. Oko the Ringleader. Man. Oko is really good, but I think our I think we're kind of firmly in red blue territory. And Razzle Dazzler is gonna be something that we want uh, to advance that strategy. Quick Draw is not bad, like, I mean, it's just a, a one mana spell, so not actually horrible to to wheel. Uh, kind of same with Highway Robbery. This is, like, in my opinion, kind of a more efficient uh, Seize the Secrets for this deck. I think pick one is just Razzle Dazzler here. Oko, I think the ship is sailed for Oko, but I, I would like to play with it. Obeka, just not very good. Um... Slick Sequence is really good. So, just the, the hits keep coming here. You can, I mean, it's a two mana deal two to any target, and then if you cast another turn, or if you cast another spell this turn, you get to draw a card. So that's just, it's insane. Electro Dominance. Deal X to any target, you may cast a spell with mana value X or less from your hand. Or you may cast a spell with mana value X or less from your hand. By paying his mana cost. I don't think that's where we're trying to go down. Feels five damage to target creature, probably not. Um oh. No, probably not the probably not the Roadrunner. I do like highway robbery. I think it's probably better than the, the deal one damage here. I wasn't super impressed with the Dead Eye Duelist last or yesterday, I guess. So I think we're going to go with Highway Robbery. Yeah, 
horrible. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my gosh! It's the it's the plotcaster mage. Shout out Ben Werney. Oh man, that's awesome. Okay, windmill slamming that. What else is in here? Fendi for outlaws. That's kind of funny. Carrier Strix, not super into. Explosive Derailment, I would like to see come back, maybe? I mean, three mana spell is pretty good. But Slick Shot Lock Picker is just so good. You get to have an instant or sorcery get flashback until end of turn, whenever it comes in. And you can plot it. Just awesome. Frostification, probably not. Another Reckless Lackey is really good. Hypothesis is really good. Oh, it's probably Hypothesis is like a kind of a finisher, pseudo finisher. Nothing else looks super interesting, so I think Hypothesis is just really good. Daring Thunder Thief, kind of anti synergy with our deck. I mean, it's okay. It'd be good for turns that we want to do, uh, like, removal spells on, on opponent's turn, so I'll take a flyer on that. Commandeer is... Uh, probably not. Marauding Sphinx is really good, but that's... Uh, it kind of feels more like the... Yeah, I don't know, it is good. It feels more like the controlling archetype would be more into that, but it is just a powerful card. It's better than the, the one or twos here. I think we'll keep that. Inspiring Vantage. Merchant Haunting is also kind of anti-synergy. That's more for like the blue-white uh, do-nothings on their turn. It is a good card though. Yeah, I got nothing, so I'm just gonna take the rare. <laughs> Seize the Secrets came back. Quick Draw came back, so I'll take that. Yeah, I think I'm fine with that. I don't know if it'll end up making the cut, but it's interesting. A third take the fall, probably not going to play three of those, but, you know. Okay, deal, uh, Dead Eye Duelist came back, so I'll go ahead and take that. Carrier Strix, not super thrilled about, but I'll take it. Not gonna play Ferocification and Swamp. Pack three. One last job. Probably not for us. Huh, kinda got shafted on the the rares this time, but the the power of this deck kinda makes up for it. So a third Razzle Dazzler. I think that might just be the move. Man, I want to min windmill slam some rares and mythics, but I can't really complain about this. Yeah, I'll take the Razzle Dazzler. Gray Train Heist is cool. Is it too much, though? Untap all creatures you control if there's a... I mean, it feels a little win more, but it is fun. I mean, is there anything else that I want to play here? <laughs> Honestly, kind of no. Shackle Slinger. Yeah, it's just... Shackle Slinger's fine. Yeah, I'll take a flyer on Great Tan Train Heist. Mana Drain is cool. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, we're going to try Mana Drain for sure. That's going to be awesome. Okay. We got some big blowout cards here in the last couple. Last couple packs here. Or the last couple picks here. This town ain't big enough is fun. I wouldn't mind seeing that wheel. But, I mean, come on. I got to try the mana drain. Thunder Salvo is awesome. <laughs> Apologies. Uh, Thunder Salvo. Yeah, I mean, it's just great. So we're taking that. Man, we've got so many good cards right now. Hmm. 
Uh, not much going on here. Yeah, I'll just take another desert, see if that... Oh my good lord. Should I should I play three outlaw stitchers? Can I do that? <laughs> Is that wise to do? I mean it's it's probably just good enough, right? I've got eleven non creatures. How many are Should I just take explosive derailment? It's tough. We're gonna take the we're gonna take that third outlaw stitcher here. That's awesome. And now we got it. This town ain't big enough. Cool. Just really good stuff. I mean, it can protect your guys, but it can also just bounce two of their creatures to put them way off tempo. Oh my lord. We got a Cromit pick eight. Yes. And a prickly pair. This is kind of insane. Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, put a plus one plus one counter on Krom and draw a card? Heck yeah. Prickly Pear is also good. It just gets a. You get a 2 2 and a red mercenary. Just awesome. Shin of Fall, Fool's Fall. Not super into. Yeah, none of these are super into. Uh, I'll just take Mystical Tether. No. I uh, will let some people play. Take for a ride. It's kind of a funny card. Another Seize of Secrets. Boy, I'm excited to brew with this one. We got a few cards to cut here. So I don't think we came away with any desert synergies, so I'm not super thrilled about playing them, but they are, I mean, it is just a one ping, but I feel like we don't want a whole lot of tap lands, because we're, I mean, we're playing basically pedal to the metal here. First one we're going to do is get rid of A, take the fall. What do we have as far as the uh, outlaws? Are they good enough? So not a whole lot of outlaws, so maybe maybe take the fall is just not great here. Uh, get rid of Strix. Dude, great train heist is so funny. Quick draw. You know what? I, I think I might want more take the falls than quick draw, to be honest. Do I envision losing combat very often? I don't think so. Did I duelist can be cut? I like highway robbery. Uh, Seize the secrets can probably go. Man, this deck is so cool. Daring Thunder Thief is probably the final one to go. We got 12 creatures to 11 non-creatures. It's a lot of non-creatures. How many are good? <laughs> it's a funny question. Do I have anything better than quick draw? What's my mana curve looking like? Average is 2.6. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. You know what? I think this is. Uh, I think this will be fun. I think we're good here. So this is the deck we're taking. <sighs> well, you know the two uh, two deserts. I think we'll do a cheeky one desert. And yeah, just do. Oh whoa, way more blue. We'll do nine blue, seven mountain, because we don't have we, the only double pip red we have is that. Yeah, I think I'm good with that. All right, I am super excited to play with this deck. Let's get going here.
kind of an awkward opening opening hand, to be honest. I don't know, worst case scenario, I can cantrip to take the fall here and bring it back with Slick Shot. Why not? Why not keep? Oh, and two lands off the top? Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, we are gonna... We're gonna curve out to some extent. Yeah, I think I just want to do a draw card here. Second Outlaw Stitcher. Ooh, Plot Wolverine is good. Into... Turn four, Wolverine, play Stitcher. And I get the one four and a four four plus the three two. Pretty good. I think that's pretty good. Ooh. <laughs> and the great train heist. That is gonna be so sick. Probably next turn, to be honest. Oh, man. Okay, so the sequencing here is for each spell I've cast this turn other than the first. Okay, so play Wolverine. Ooh, that's rough. That's okay. <laughs> play Outlaw Stitcher. I'll hit him with the thanks since they niced me. Yeah, I mean, pretty good. Pretty good turn. So I can slick shot lock picker. Uh, probably want to plot that, right? That's pretty good. What does that do when it saddles? Oh my lord. Ooh. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I get in for 16 there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can they come back and win? <laughs> Hopefully not, right? So if I go, this town ain't big enough. Cost four mana. Got five available. Should I just do Big Sphinx and wait a little bit? That's probably fair. Heck with everything? Who cares? So we're having fun, let's do that. The Griff seems to be pretty good. Ooh, Buried in the Garden is good. So they got a... Got a ward here. Gotta pay the ward cost, rather. Down to five. Oh man, just gonna get wrecked here. That's okay. Hmm. So we survive if we play this town ain't big enough, I think. Do we want to make them commit to saddling first? Because then, yeah, okay, yeah, that's probably good then. Hmm. So we'll go ahead and plot three here. And then we can... This town ain't big enough next turn, given that we survive. They're probably going to want to saddle the Congregation Griff. With Sterling Supplier, probably. Or no, no, they probably will saddle with the the giant beaver or the bridal bighorn. Yeah. Oh man. That's rough. Hmm. Yeah. So what do we bring back? Is it Outlaw Stitcher? Already got an Outlaw Stitcher. 
Yeah, I think we bring back Outlaw Stitcher. Target up to two non-land permanents. That one, that one. I will block with the 4-4. Four four. I want that dead. They attack for three. Do I have enough to play? Yes. Okay. And then I will play Restless Lackey just kind of as a as a blocker, I guess. Well, does anything have trample? I'll get in for three. Gotta start chipping away at some point. Hmm. Oh my gosh, a Vraska. Cool. Pretty good. I mean, if I don't find an answer to the to the flyer, then it's game over. Jump block. Do not think that is going to be how we do it, folks. Yep. All right. Well. Not, not the best first showing for this deck, but that feels a little bit bad. We had some fun though. I'm I still I still believe in this deck. I think it's pretty cool. All right, game 2 it is. Is everybody just smarter than me? Yeah. That tends to be the case. <laughs> just better at drafting, huh? Oh, we got the mana drain. That's fun. We got the slick sequence. We got the quick draw. Just non-creatures, the hand. I mean, it's pretty funny. If we get, the, if we get another blue, then this will just be awesome. Do we have to set that up for like a mega turn, do you think? Or is it just good just at any time in the game? I guess we do want some stuff to do. Quick draw is probably the first one to go for highway robbery here. I feel good about that. Or do I want to plot it? I will just go ahead and play it. I kind of want the cards. <laughs> Boy, could really use a third land here. Thank you. Is Nimble, Nimble Brigand any good? Yeah, it is pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, I think I want to plot the Coyote. Wait for another creature to finally come into my hand. That's a pretty good one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like that. We'll give that to the Razzle Dazzler here so he can kill the Nimble Brigand. They're probably going to have their own stuff to kill or counter. Look at that. Thunder Salvo up to 4 damage.
Not a huge reason not to attack with everything here, I feel like. Can't kill anything, so it doesn't really matter. They could have a pump spell, but if they're gonna block with or block the lackey, then I don't really care. Yeah, perfectly fine. Definitely need another blue here. Give us the blue. Well, kind of the blue. Next turn, it's the blue. So I can keep this up to keep Nimble Brigand from ever drawing a card off of it. That's pretty cool. I think we just go ahead and attack here. That's fine. Still no pump spell, okay. A little scary. Oh, now I get to surveil one off of the returning, or off the failed fording. I actually like that quite a bit. I think I found my bounce target. <laughs> or is that more of a kill target? I don't know, I'd really like to dig for some cards here. Do they have a counter? They've got a stick. Hmm. So this would be kind of an awkward next turn. Do I just want to do this? Take the ball. Oh. Oh, okay. Weird. Oh, wow. Krom is awesome. I feel like I gotta keep Krom. But I also think I just need to prioritize killing breaches. Ah, uh, I mean, it's not great. What can I do here? Draw a card and create a treasure token. Do I just want to play Razzle Dazzler again? Do I just go for Chrome? Hmm. Yeah, we go Razzle Dazzler and then we can Thunder Salvo the, the breaches here. I think that's good enough. Then we can still get in for three. Still not going to live the Mana Drain dream here, maybe? I would really like to. Is Krom next turn any good? Or is it better to just keep this stuff up? What'd they plot over here? Highway robbery. Not really going to help him right now. Hypothesis is really good, but I don't have a fifth mana. Yep, just go ahead and swing in with everything, I think. Perfectly fine. They go down to five. Um, uh... Oh, interesting. The beginning of your next main phase. I think that's the one that I want to get rid of. Because they, if they only have two cards in hand, they probably really want this one to work out. So we'll mana drain it. We get three next turn. Let's just hope that that is worse, or that's better than what they have in hand. So, I mean, they would have reloaded with a lot of cards, so I think I'm pretty okay with mana draining there. And, you know, we got the win here. Cool. All right, we're one-on-one. -on -one. So this deck does beat the other blue-red decks, and that red deck had a rare, so I feel pretty good about that one. Or breaches. You know, I've, I've got rares too, but they're not exactly, like, 
you know, they're not the, the greatest of all time. Breaches is also not super great. I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about, man. Let's just play some games. <laughs> I'm feeling a little goofy, man. Had a long day of work. Had a long day of gaming. I'm just here to have fun right now. Just chilling out. The Shauna. I go first with a mana drain in hand. Feels good. Actually, just two rares in hand is kind of funny. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good with that. Perfectly fine with that. Nothing that really cares about committing crime, so I'll just go ahead and throw that down. And don't want to play Mana Drain turn two, so I'll go ahead and play the Mountain. Plot Coyote till we get a cool creature to play. A lot of big stuff, so we're going to need some mana coming in. Hmm. Should I just go ahead and play this? Probably not, right? Oh man, if we mana drain here, we can just go kind of ramp into Marauding Sphinx for no reason here. Ooh, that does feel good. Mana drain. Yes, sir. So we got three floating from that. Heck yeah, dude. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh, this is going to be awesome. Oh, I'm excited. So do we... Do we have enough for seven? Oh my gosh, we do have enough here. So Razzle Dazzler. Play Marauding Sphinx. <laughs> and then we're gonna give the Sphinx haste and plus one plus one till end of turn. And we're gonna attack for six. And the next turn we can Great Train Heist and have two combat phases. <laughs> That's, yeah. Oh yeah, we're doing it now. Oh, I'm so excited for this. I love this. I love magic, man. I mean, if you're here, you should probably love magic, too. You're listening to a just a, a rando from Missouri just playing some magic. I'm glad you're here. I'm happy you're here. They're playing that in their green-white deck? One, two. Oh, I actually don't have a second red. That's kind of funny. Okay, so I just got to go in. Uh, just attack for the, with the Sphinx then, I think. Oh, that's hilarious. I don't actually have a second red. Okay. A little bit awkward. I guess I could go for the plus one plus one oh and gain first strike until end of turn. Oh yeah, that's actually a horrible misplay from me. But I can this town a big enough both of those. And if I get red, I just basically win. Yep, that's pretty good. Oh okay. So it's over. Heck yeah. Oh, I actually did that wrong. Oh no. <laughs> they Okay, they scooped anyway. <laughs> oh no, I can't believe I missed the timing on Great Great Train Heist. I need to read the cards, man. Whoa. Got Kiora from Mom Aftermath. That's cool. All right, 2 and 1, baby, let's go. Can we hit our third the elusive Third win. Actually, I, uh, four wins is more elusive. Yesterday we got three wins. No red, so that's a little scary. We are on the draw. Hmm. Boy, that's an awkward hand. Yeah, we'll keep. Who cares, man? 
We're having fun. What land is that? M21, that's cool. Ooh. Second blue. Might have to take the fall here. Especially if they commit a crime. <laughs> Boy, we might just get run over here. We're gonna attack for one. I'll give that a minus one, minus oh. <laughs> Second take the fall, that's funny. Yeah, sure, why not? Oh my lord. Come on, guys, give me a red! Uh, we'll do that for the slick shot here. Because then next turn we can play. Goodness. What do we want to do next turn? We can play the Slick Shot Lock. Or we can play the, the Outlaw Stitcher here, which is really good. That'll get us up to a 4 4. Man, we need a red. Holy crap. We're not going to get any value off the Lock Picker, but. I mean, it's not the end of the world. Would it be better to do Razzle Dazzler? Probably not. I just want the 4-4. <laughs> Give me the 4-4 here. It's just good. Nothing on their board can kill it. It's just going to be a good mopey blocker here. Unless they have a way to kill it. The train derailment or whatever it's called that deals 4 damage. Oh, a double pipped scorching scot sc scorching shot. Okay, I mean outlaw stitcher is just a pretty all right blocker too. Okay, we'll take four damage. Doesn't feel great. Am I just going to get blown out here? What's going on? Wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Pretty good turn from them. Finally the red. Probably too late. We'll go ahead and put up a Razzle Dazzler. And I think... We want to go ahead and play the slick sequence, and we get to draw. So that kind of puts us back in the game, because now we're up on cards, and all they've got is the, the Bridal Bighorn here. Another blue, okay. Yeah, I feel alright with where we're at. We're going to get the Krom in here next turn. Good lord, if we could get another red, I would love to be able to plot the highway robbery. It's kind of a close game right now, I think. They are going to attack again. Do I care that much about taking three? I don't think so at this point. Would it be beneficial to double block to stop getting the 1-1s? One They've kept mana up, so they probably got a combat trick, and I've only got eno just enough to kill the Bridal Bighorn, so if they bump pump toughness, it's going to be like kind of a big blowout, so I think I'm just going to do no blocks. Okay. Just... Weeping with all these red cards here. So they've kept all their mana up, which is a little scary. Boy, I'm just shackled by the, the one red here. What have they got sticking? Bridal Bighorn having Vigilance is kind of a punishment here.
We could get just one more red. We can double spell next turn. Razzle Dazzler will go up to a 3-4. We'll get uh, we'll get a 3-4 out of the out of Krom here, and we'll get to draw a card. Be really nice. Oh lord, they got Dust Animus too? Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, I'll just block with the Lockpicker. I would like to kill the Bighorn, but... Okay. Now are we kind of off to the races here? I think we're going to sacrifice the land. Get rid of the tapped one. Draw two. Oh, baby. Okay. And then we're going to... Thunder Salvo? Killing... That? Then Mana Drain the Dust Animus? That feels pretty all right. Okay, I kind of like where this is going now. They're going to want to windmill play the the dust animus, so I'll go ahead and attack for three here. They're going to they're going to want to windmill slam it before they play anything because they've got the the five untapped here. So we're just going to slam the Mana Drain for the second time. That's awesome. Yep. Mana Drain. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. Love that. We're going to get two mana back, so three, six, seven, eight at our disposal next turn. This is just really good, probably. <laughs> okay. He mad. Would really like another spell next turn, low cost spell. We're still down to six, that's pretty rough. So nine mana at our disposal. Can I? One, two, three, four. Plus eight. Okay. Hmm. Do I want to do an additional combat phase? No, because I kind of need the Krom. Oh, no. No, because we get the Outlaw Stitcher big boy coming. Yeah, uh, we're going we're gonna to swing in. See what's up. Okay, so we got to pay one red, pay another, and then probably another. Just get rid of all the reds. Yep. That is what I would like to do. Oh. Oh, wait, the floating mana. Oh, no. Oh, man. Gosh, I am just... I'm missing it. I'm missing it today, bad guys. I probably lose because of that. Oof. That feels bad. And they probably got a trick now. Oh, is this just a horrible misplay, man?
<laughs> oh, wow. They had a cheeky fling. Oh, dang. So they were going to win anyway, probably. No. Dang it. Dang it. I had that game. That's okay. Oh, that hurts. That does hurt. I think we could have had that game. I think we could have had that game. Okay, two and two. We're on the back foot now. Man, that is a feels bad. Pretty, I don't know, it's kind of ugly for going second. If they've got any type of aggro deck, it's kind of over for us. Uh, we got hand smoothing here. Got a lot of lands. I'll keep it. Not super scared about that, to be honest. <laughs> Plot the highway robbery next turn. Probably discard one of these lands. Also not super concerned about the silver deputy. Yeah, I gotta be thrilled with how they're how they're playing out the first couple turns here, but not super thrilled about the green white. Want the robbery? I mean, next turn. I mean, this turn they're only attacking for one, so I I don't feel that bad. Oh, they got Abzan brewing. Okay. Playing nothing's a little scary. Um. I'll play Second Mountain. Play Razzle Dazzler. And a Highway Robbery. Make a 2 3. Discard the Mountain and draw 2. Probably would have been nice to keep up the Outlaw Stitcher. Or keep the, keep the Robbery for next turn for the Outlaw Stitcher. But. I don't know, I don't feel super bad about our place right now. Blood Hustler doesn't super fit in this archetype. I've been seeing a lot of people playing three three colors. I wonder if I should be trying that. <laughs> Mana Drain. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah, it's probably just sit and do Mana Drain and then Marauding Sphinx next turn. Attack for two. We can Marauding Sphinx. So we're going to have five lands next turn. If we can counter something with four, four mana, that's going to be so sick. Because then we can get the three five plus a one four plus a four four. Okay. Wow, a do-nothing on their own turn, okay. I think I'm good with just staring at him for a little bit. I'll keep getting in. Oh, uh, no, Armored Armadillo is waiting. Yeah, because I can play Hypothesis or Mana Drain. That feels pretty good. What non-land card would I get rid of? Probably Outlaw Stitcher. A second Outlaw Stitcher, obviously. Because the, the rest of my hand is kind of juiced right now. Bizarre. Uh, attack the Blood Hustler. Or block the Blood, blood Hustler. Okay. Oh, I get to draw two and then discard. Okay. Wow. <laughs> uh, probably the third Outlaw Stitcher is what I'm going to get rid of here.
not too bothered with what the armadillo is doing. Well, I mean, if the, if that's all they want to do is pump the armadillo, I'm perfectly fine doing the double here. Well, what does the ward cost? Ward 1. So not quite enough to do both the fording and outlaw stitcher. Yeah, that's fine. Perfectly fine. I'll do the lackey into a 4-4. Four four. And make the Razzle Dazzler a 3-4. Seems pretty good. In the next turn, I'll keep up the Mana Drain, and we'll do that song and dance again. But we've got a pretty pretty big board, so it doesn't really matter at this point, I don't think. Unless they've got the, the last showdown, or whatever whatever it's called, the, the big instant board wipe. That feels a little bit bad. Maybe I should keep that when we go into combat here. Keep that up, rather. So we'll keep Mana Drain open. We'll get rid of the permanent here. Don't really care if it's going to get another land on top, because that's going to feel pretty good if they do that. Just attack with everything here. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not... Not too miffed about that. Yep. Do I just want to put in another 4 4? Yeah, probably. I could have plotted there. Yeah, if they're just going to be playing Silver Deputy, Mana Drain's not really something we're looking for. I'm not really sure why he niced me, because that's like a negative tempo play. All he's going to get is a 7th land. <laughs> Congrats. Yeah, just attack with everything. See what happens. Yeah. Okay. So don't have enough to do that. Do I just show him the Sphinx? Or do I keep up Mana Drain just for the fun? I mean, we're having fun here, so let's just keep up Mana Drain. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Got four mana's worth out of that. Probably not gonna do it. Do they have four mana board wife? <laughs> Probably not. What they okay. Hmm. Yeah, we'll draw a card. Why not? Kill the possum. <laughs> yeah. Pretty, pretty good. All right. All right. Working, working like a dream again. I like this deck a lot. So we did make it to the three wins. We had the, the thousand gems and two packs are ours, but now... Can we play for a fourth? Can we get our new personal record? Because yesterday we also went three and three. This is kind of for all the marbles early in the season. Another mana drain. I mean, oh my god, and we got the log picker to bring back the mana drain. Well, the mana drain's not great because it's a counter spell, but that's I mean it's still awesome. Yeah, I guess it is a little bit of a nombo, but it's it's funny. Deal one. 
so... Hmm. If I turn to... So if I turn to keep up Mana Drain, if they do a 3 mana spell, I think it's just not as good as plotting here. Because if we, we're, or best case scenario, we have 6 mana next turn, and that's just enough to play both of these. But if we plot the Coyote now, we'll get the added benefit of the plus 1 plus 1 in haste. And we're not under like severe pressure right now, so we'll go ahead and play the Mountain and plot. Scale Storm Summoner. I don't remember ever seeing this card. Oh. Oh, it's a four mana or four power matters. I don't know about that. Hmm. Well, I guess that was kind of a bad move because now we can't play Atlas Stitcher. Okay. Noted. Play the Reckless Lackey. Could be a two-two first striker. The 3-3 three, three is just kind of awkward there, huh? Do have Mana Drain open, so that'll be good. And they're stuck on 3 mana, so that's cool. We'll get 3 mana, we have 6. Should we just go and play the Marauding Sphinx? Cheat out the Sphinx? Seems pretty good to me. Wow, they're stuck on three. Yeah, that feels good. I don't know. Let me down. Let me know down in the comments if I got the sequencing wrong on that. And they're still stuck on three. Wow. Oh, and I get to surveil two. Heck yeah. Do they have a counter? Does that feel bad? Slick Sequence is good, so is Outlaw Stitcher. And I'm drawing the Slick Sequence. Yeah, I think I just want those two. Outlaw Stitcher, be wary of a counter spell, I think. No, okay. Yeah, pretty good. They can pump the crab. So we'll just swing in for the three here. Yeah. I think that's the right move, because Canyon Crab... I don't know, maybe I should have just attacked here with these two. <laughs> or it doesn't matter. Scooping at 16 life is pretty, pretty wild. Okay, we, we've hit our new high water mark for the season. We're at four wins, guys. That's awesome. I'm so excited. Ooh, reward. A, an uncommon from LCI. Oh, man, if we get to five wins, we actually do break even. Or we go, we go past break even. Cool. That feels good. We're at four wins. Heck yeah, man. We're cruising now. Wolverine into Stitcher, as long as we get our fourth land drop and a failed fording to keep people off balance, I feel pretty good about going second here. This card is just so unbelievably good. Dang. And Reckless Lackey turn one. Feels good. And turn two. Turn two, nothing. Then I guess just Razzle Dazzler. Okay. The breaches is fine. Plot the Wolverine. 
Hopefully they don't do anything cool. I really haven't seen many Outlaw Stitchers out. I don't think I've seen a single one yet that I haven't been playing. Wolverine for a fourth land drop, maybe? Oh. Second Razzle Dazzler is fun, but I think Outlaw Stitcher is just too good to pass up because you get the 4-4. Four -four. And we've already got one on board, so... <laughs> Our deck's doing the stuff again. Should I go ahead and plot the Stitcher next turn? Uh, I think that might feel kind of bad. Is there any reason for us? Okay, that's fine. Lone Shark, okay. Lone Shark is pretty good. I mean, it's a 3-4 body, so it's a little scary. Do I just want to go ahead and plot? Do I have enough to make this cool? Can I please play this once correctly? <laughs> okay, so three, four, five, six, and I've only got five, so not gonna work right now, I don't think. Do I wanna be attacking? Yeah, I think so. What should I send back? The shark or the breaches? Maybe I should have brought back the wolverine. That would have been cool. Oh, maybe I should just do that. Yeah. That feels pretty good. I mean, we finally played it correctly, kind of. <laughs> so we get two treasures out of that. Give us a spell next turn and we'll be hitting off to the races again. Boy, they got a lot of cards. That's scary. Kind of need to draw some good stuff off the top. Kind of feel like it might be a land, but we'll see. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> that's funny. Ooh. Yeah, that's sick. It's a little bit of a nombo because we won't get to draw a card off of it, but just good. Just value, man. And we get to another, or we get to keep a treasure, so that's good. And our Razzle Dazzler goes up to 4-5. And we get the 4-4. Four, four. We'll attack with 4. This is just such a cool deck, man. I love these cards. Prickly Pear, probably not going to do it at this point, I feel like. Hmm. Let's go in and attack, probably. Well, keep those as blockers, I think. Oh, oh, I guess. <laughs> Just attacking anyway. Okay, well. Not exactly what I wanted to do, but not a horrible outcome. I'm not in danger of dying next turn, I don't think, so I guess it doesn't matter a whole lot. Interesting, okay. Yeah, I want to kill the Razzle Dazzler. 
want to kill the lone shark. What do I want to die less? Oh, these just don't... These won't kill my Razzle Dazzler. Okay. But this will kill my 4-4. Four -four. So I'll Razzle Dazzle... Or take the fall on the Razzle Dazzler. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfectly fine card. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's hilarious. Uh, we'll keep the Thunder Salvo up, I guess. So he had a combat trick, I had two. <laughs> You can play the Hellspur Brute. Can they? No, they can't. Hey, man, that's awesome. We're we're killing the game right now. Okay. Yes, we have hit five wins. Yes, that's awesome. Yes. Like the video for that if you're still watching. Win number six. Hello, monkey. Woof. I don't think that's gonna cut it. I just can't in good conscience take this hand without a blue, I, I feel like. A lot better. Oh, it's a lot better. But it's a tough... It's a tough one. Probably just get rid of the Crom? No, because we want the Crom for the Mana Drain, I think. I think Slick Sequence might be the move to get rid of. Yeah. I mean, Mana Drain is just going to be a blowout again, isn't it? Going to be so sick. Maybe Razzle Dazzler coming out is not super great, but I kind of like it in the case of kind of baiting a removal spell here. Which it kind of seems like they want to do. Oh, they just plot. Cunning Coyote, pretty good. Second Razzle Dazzler is kind of funny. So... Or six. So if we get, if we can counter a three mana thing next turn, we get the Crom and two Razzle Dazzle ticket triggers. That'll just be awesome. Oh, so he's just staring at me too. Okay. Is he holding up counter? Just like I am. He is stuck on three mana, so we'll go ahead and do the Krom, I think. Am I playing into mana drain? Oh, well. Three mana counter spell, I don't think is where we're looking to go today, <laughs> so. I think I'm actually fine with that. Ooh, we can play the Razzle Dazzler now, so that's good. Nothing to trigger for it, though, which is kind of rough. So they will play the Coyote, or they'll, they'll play the Lone Shark. Oh my lord, man. They're just gearing up here. And I am getting nothing but land. That's okay. So... Outlaw Stitcher is definitely the one that we want to. Yeah, I think I think Outlaw Stitcher is still the one that we want to mana drain here. That's fine.
it's still the the outlaw stitcher is still the one that gives the most value i think lone shark is gonna be a lone shark coyote is fine they're not okay Sure. So Nathan here goes up to 4-4 four, four here. Takes 6. Yeah, now we Mandarin. But we need a freaking spell, man. Huh. Kind of a kind of a bad top deck, not gonna lie. Not I mean here at least, because now we know now we know the four floating will cease to exist pretty quickly. So one, four, five, six, seven. Do I lose next turn? Probably not. I can cast this for everything. Is that good enough? Two first strike. So one will die? I mean, yeah, just go for it, I guess. It's kind of a gnarly play, if we're being real. But, oh. Oh, okay. We're gonna play the whole drain heist here. I guess the the three mana to get an extra, extra combat doesn't really work all that well there if they're not going to block, but I'm pretty okay with that. Just get a decent card next turn and we'll be doing all right. We've hit a lot of the good cards already. Oh, yeah, we're running out of steam, I think. Yeah, they're just drawing too much stuff right now. Are there any decent, halfway decent blocks here? Not really. Do I want to be left with nothing, though? Take six. Take five. That's a little bit of a feels bad. Hmm. That's also a feels bad. But it does. I guess it does get another body. Not a good one. Top decking is not the place you want to be in this deck, I don't think. Wow. Wow. Okay. Oh my goodness. I gotta hit him with a nice on that one. Yeah, I mean, I think we just lose. <sighs> there wasn't any coming back from that one. But man, five wins? Five wins. I'm pretty happy with that. That's a pretty good showing. I mean, five and three... For for a guy that's relatively new to drafting, I'm pretty happy with that. We got our money back and then some. We got some got some packs. Hey, that's a pretty good day at the office if you ask me. Well, once again, thank you all for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time on the farewell party. Farewell, party people.